Hey guys, welcome, we're back. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Hi babes. Surprise, we're here on a Sunday. Hi Sarah. tap in get the collective in here good morning let's do some love readings let's see what's going on with my collective hi Nina who's number one who's number one everybody tap in tap the screen share it out and tell me what order we're going in earth babies want to go first today Virgo Cappy, you guys are number one. Your girl broke her ankle. That's why I've been gone for a few days. <laughs> I went for a walk and I freaking broke my ankle, you guys. So I've been at the doctor and stuff. I've been releasing videos on YouTube. But yeah, Tuesday night, I snapped my tibia. So that's been fun. But it's actually not bad because it's my left ankle, so I can still drive. And thankfully, I have a job where I can still do videos and stuff and also keep my leg elevated. So go check out the videos I've been releasing on YouTube if you haven't already. There's quite a few zodiac signs that I just released in the past week. Thank you, babes. It is healing really well. It's actually healing well, and I don't think I'm going to have to have surgery, so that's good. All right, who's number two? Air babies. I know, Merry Christmas to me, right? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Amy. second. I've actually never broken a bone before so I was expecting it to be a lot worse than this. So I thought it was a sprain and I walked around on it all night the night that I did it. <laughs> Oops. And then I woke up the next day and I was like it looks really bad and it hurts really bad I should go in and they were like yeah girl you broke that shit. I'm like oops. Oopsie daisy. Water signs. We are number three. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Okay. All the babes are getting here. Hi guys. If you just joined, you're right on time. We haven't started yet. Who's last? Fire signs are last. I'm not sure if we're gonna do a collective reading today babes we'll see we'll see once we get there but here's the menu for today let's get started good morning good morning good morning if you guys missed it if you weren't here the reason I've been missing for a few days is because I broke my freaking ankle you guys not the kind of joint I like to roll but we did it <laughs> We did it good. So I've been having to rest and go to the orthopedic doctor and stuff like that. So I've been busy taking care of myself and getting my foot back to the way it's supposed to be. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm totally fine, you guys. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. I've never broken a bone, so I would think it was way worse than this. They did a CT scan, and they were like, yeah, that shit's broken. 
Okay. Enough about me. Let's go into earth signs. What's going on with the earth sign love life? You just passed by and heard me talking about rolling a joint. <laughs> it was my ankle, you guys. Not the enjoyable kind. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and anybody that's dealing with an earth sign, you guys can cross watch. If you're cross watching, the roles can be reversed, and you might notice that the story is coming from the other person's perspective, which is kind of nice to hear sometimes, even if it's harsh. It's good to hear what what their perception of the situation is, where their energy is at when it comes to you if you're a cross watcher. So just be mindful of that if you're cross watching and you feel like I'm talking about you and not them, then I probably am <clears throat> from their perspective, okay? I hope that makes sense. Here we go, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth Babies. Sunday everybody it's been a while since I've been here on a weekend huh whoa heart with a key wants to come out really bad okay let's get one more Taurus Virgo Capricorn I guess we're ready Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, what's up with my Earth babies? What's up with my Earth signs? All my Earth signs are here and they're ready, Spirit. Tell us what's going on. <clears throat> there is somebody that wants to put in effort. There's someone here that's like open to the connection with you. They're making a priority to put effort into you. So you're like at the top of someone's list. You're at the top of their list. They're making a list, they're checking it twice and you're number one. Okay, give us one more spirit cassette. Somebody's up in their head overthinking it though. <clears throat> so they're psyching themselves out a little bit. This person feels a little bit anxious. You got an overthinker here. They could definitely be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oof, Capricorns overthink the shit out of everything. I know that. Here we go. Queen of Swords, they're scared of rejection because you've either rejected them already in the past or they've been rejected in the past, so they're overthinking what. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There's literally just like a fear of rejection here. This person can't handle rejection. Two of Wands. Making decisions. Let's get a couple more. Why are they making it so complicated, you guys? I feel like you're dealing with somebody that's making things more complicated than they have to be. And you have other options that are either around you or that are coming in. So it's like, move it or lose it, buddy. <laughs> Move it or lose it, buddy, is what Spirit's saying. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you guys have a person here. <clears throat> I'm getting more than one person that's trying to connect with your energy right now in a romantic way. So you're either about to be dealing with other people or you already have other people around you that are interested because this person's taking too long. And I feel like you guys are actually irritated with 
what the, what they've been offering, some of you feel like they haven't been putting you as a priority. I feel like you are a priority, but they're just like screwing around, scared, up in their head, overthinking everything. And they keep replaying either when you rejected them in the past, they keep thinking about that over and over again, or somebody from their past that rejected them when they put themselves out there. So now they're scaredy cat. You have another option here though. King of Swords. Six of Wands. Yeah, I feel like that. Whoa, this other person's taking too long. You guys are like done waiting. You're done waiting for them, or they're gonna miss their chance, or they already have for some of you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is coming through really strong for you guys. So you definitely could be dealing with an air sign, but whatever it is, they're up in their head overthinking shit. This person thinks too much. So I see you having success with a different option. Like another person comes in. Nice. And this person's just going to keep watching from the past. It's like they almost watch you move on. I see you catching feelings for someone else here. Somebody else steps up to the plate is what Spirit's saying. This other person's kind of immature. They have, they have lessons they need to learn. You're, you might end up being the one that got away for a lot of them. Like... They didn't get their shit together and just go for it. And you guys finally just walk away. Like, I'm done waiting for you. I'm done giving you chances. <clears throat> I definitely am getting success and catching feelings for somebody else. And this other person's going to wish they said something. If they don't say something, they're going to regret that. They might end up saying things to you too late. Too, it's just a little too late, a little bit. Nah, 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 nah. That's a song. <laughs> it's just a little bit too, too little, too late. <clears throat> There's someone here that's willing to treat you like a queen, but it feels like this person might come running in after you move on. Like, wait and you're like, it's too late. I just see this person being too late. Okay. Tap it and claim it. The shit's outdated. It took too long. It's rotten now. Gotta throw it out. <laughs> throw the whole dude away, you guys. sitting and waiting too long. Now it's rotting. What a bummer. Tap it and claim it. Let's do air signs. <clears throat> Sometimes spirit speaks in metaphors. So if you guys hear any metaphors or something that's symbolic, it can be um, a synchronicity that comes through the reading. Let's hydrate so we can continue channeling. Gotta stay juiced up, babies. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, where are you at? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, holler if you hear me. If you're dealing with an air sign, air babies were coming through in the earth reading heavy. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or you have an earth sign around you. An earth sign that's close to you. Did I forget to knock? Knock, knock. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's your turn. Five, five, five. Changes are coming, collective. 
Big happy changes. We're ready for changes for the new year, right? Big happy changes for the new year. Hello, welcome. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. I feel like I already shuffled these, so let's just give them a little... We're good. <laughs> That's it. That's all you get, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Here we go. Thank you for the gift. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, babe, so much. I just cashed out my gifts for Christmas so I can get everybody Christmas presents. So I appreciate you, babes. Thank you, Adril. Ad, Adriv. Sorry if I don't say your name right. Thank you, Candace. Thank you guys for all the Christmas gifts. And thank you, Andrea. Andrea literally sent me a Christmas gift. I'm so excited. I'm saving it and not opening it until Christmas Day. But I have a feeling it's a deck. Ooh, okay, coffin, big changes, like I said. Endings bring new beginnings, change. Liberation, transition. Ooh, damn. Okay. The Grim Reaper. Major endings, you guys. Like rocking your world, turning things upside down. But there's something new on the other side. There's something exciting that's coming after some tough endings. Feels like you guys are ending cycles that might have been repeating for a really long time. Like annoying cycles, toxic cycles, like cycles that were keeping you stuck. Nice. Six of Wands, success and recognition. This could have to do with your career too. Some of you, this is your career or your love life. The Empress, hello. Growth and abundance and creation. Dang. Lots of success when it comes to what you're trying to manifest. It feels like you guys are going to change your entire life. Your life isn't going to be the same at all. Some of you guys are literally going to be in the spotlight. Famous. Lots of success. I see pregnancy for those of you that are like at that age where you're going to be having babies. It's like the birth of something that you're creating. So it could literally be a child or it could be that you guys are artistic. Could be that you're putting your craft out there in the public eye, getting recognition for what you do. You're an empress, bitch. Yes. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Holy shit, who's that? Zaddy. Yeah, some of you guys are getting married and having children. Look at the baby. Aww. But I also see a lot of you guys are like entrepreneurs, opening your own business, having multiple streams of income, wealth, stability, very like independent empress energy. Like, I don't need a man though. I don't even need a zaddy. I see power couple energy here for a lot of you, or you're just like running the shit yourself. Like you are the boss, bitch, honey. Yeah, you are the zaddy. <laughs> Spirit's all gassing you up. Yes, girl, you are the zaddy. There's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn around you. Look at this, the fool, a new journey, a new beginning. It was risky, but it's worth it. Big risks give big rewards. Some of you guys are literally like, I'm quitting my job and I'm starting a YouTube channel. <laughs> I did that. It was so exhilarating, let me tell you, to go into CPS and be like, here's your motherfucking laptop. Because my boss was horrible, first of all, when I worked for CPS. She was like, 
I'm sorry if you're watching, but you were not a very good boss, lady. Maybe a nice person outside of work, but the worst manager in the world. You're going to be like, here, here's your shit. I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to work for myself, bitch. Bye. Putting in your two weeks notice. You guys are getting the job of your dreams. Some of you guys are getting the relationship of your dreams with the family that you wanted. The power couple. It's a new, fresh start. You're starting at zero, but it's like so much success in the future for you. Some of you guys, it's like a rags to riches type thing. Okay, you better adopt me, honey, when you get up there. Don't forget your girl. Seven of Swords. The magic. Don't tell anybody. Don't. Don't let people. Some of you guys need to keep a lot of this stuff to yourself. Your good news to yourself. Your goals to yourself. Especially if you, I feel like some of you guys have friends or family around you that aren't, ex whoa, come here, that aren't exactly on your side. They might try to sabotage you. So keep a lot of this to yourself. Only tell the people that you really trust. Only share your good news with the people that you really trust. Um, and until you actually do it, don't go telling, because... If I were to say, I'm going to quit my job at CPS and go start a YouTube channel, my sister would have been like, bitch, are you insane? <laughs> she would have, because she's a nurse and she's always, you know, lived life very safe and we're just different like that, which is fine. But her advice would have been, no girl, don't quit and go do tarot online. That's crazy. And then I wouldn't be here, right? With 88,000 followers on TikTok. So just be careful who you share. It, they're not doing it on purpose necessarily, but the Empress, again, some of you guys have like multiple things that are changing. You could have multiple businesses that bring you in. Like I said, I'm seeing like multiple streams of income for you. Some of you guys are going to get pregnant with twins. Ooh, shit. If you're trying to get pregnant, I definitely see success with pregnancy in the new year. Ooh, I just got chills. How cute. Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's you guys. I see you guys learning, too. You're learning about your new life. You're adjusting to your new life. You're really curious about... You're into it. So whatever you're doing in the future here, your love life and your career, you're like intrigued. You feel like this is what I'm meant to do. You can't help but want to learn more or perfect your craft more. It, even if you're just a mom, you, you're like reading books about pregnancy and motherhood. If you're starting your own business, you're like doing your research and getting into it and you're going to be amazing you're being guided and you're getting all these ideas of how to do this and how to be very balanced you're creating a really solid foundation for yourself and a lot of success I like it I keep getting rags to riches type of thing too, like where you go from a life where you're kind of struggling, you feel like things were really difficult and things haven't come easy to you, and then bam, jackpot baby, like everything just pours on you, that abundance is raining down, it's raining money honey, success creation, abundance. I like it. Tap it and claim it if it's you. That was nice. Very, very nice. Okay, water babies. 
it's our turn. Let's get some water for the water babies. Hydrate everybody. Get yourself juiced up. Here we go. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Cross Watchers. If you're dealing with one of us, I'm so sorry. I'm just kidding. We're amazing. We're fun to deal with. There's nothing wrong with water signs. We're very sensitive, very caring people, okay? Unless you're talking about a Scorpio. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Scorpio babies, I love you. I love you. Page of Swords. Someone's spying on my water signs. What is happening? There's a lot of energy around you, water signs, when it comes to love. Someone from your past is watching you. That's already coming through. Checking your social media, wanting to know what you're doing. Someone's being nosy. Okay, here we go. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> We're going to spill the tea today, water signs. Give us all the tea, spirit. The Phoenix, nice. And love call. Hello? Hey, baby. How you doing? <laughs> Somebody wants to send you a message or call you. And again, entering a new phase, my collective, you guys, the beginning of the year is like a huge new start for us. I feel like things are about to change, but it's in a good way. There's a lot of growth, entering new phases for us, transforming our body, our mind, our soul. And we also have people from the past wanting to come back in and see how you doing. What have you been up to, girl? You've been looking good. <laughs> I've been thinking about you lately. Thinking about you and letting you know. Definitely someone from the past wanting to come back in. Aw, cute. I didn't notice that there's like little, little soccer balls and stuff. When you guys tap the screen. Interesting. Thank you, Nessie. Thank you, babe. Okay, let's get tarot little like soccer shoes and soccer balls how cute tiktok it's one of the things i really like about tiktok is all like the gifts and the animation that they put on the screen i'm like ooh, what's that that's one of the reasons why i like slots at the casino like the animation for slots is so fun i don't know about you guys but i like it especially like the little games when you're playing slots I don't know if you guys are going to the casino or what, but we're talking about slots right now. <laughs> Who's going to the casino? Six of Swords. Things are getting easier. Another card of transitioning, transforming your life. Things are getting easier for my collective. So we've been through some tough shit lately. Well, yeah, your girl broke her ankle Tuesday night, so that was tough. <laughs> things aren't going to be so hard, though. Not as much struggle in the future. A lot of things balancing out for you. Things are just working out in your favor. And you have options when it comes to love, too. You definitely got more than one person that's interested in you. And like I said, one of them is from the past. I don't know about the other ones. Let's see. Tell us more. Ooh. One of them's serious. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. You guys might be a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah. Okay. One of them thinks that they're your match. He's like, I'm the king of cups and you're the queen of cups. Let's get married. <laughs> Uh-oh. Someone's catching feelings or they're already in love with you. 
Somebody's feelings for you are pretty intense. They're very strong. This is somebody that's romantic too, so they're going to be expressing these feelings to you. If they haven't already, you guys are going to have to decide. Do I want a relationship with you? Do I want a relationship at all? Is that what I want for my life? Are you the one? You guys are like, I don't know, with the two of pentacles. Page of Cups, there's another person. So you got two, they both have feelings. They could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They both think that you're a good match for them. They're both in these feelings. One of them is less mature or a lot younger than the other one. Because you got a King of Cups and a Page of Cups. So one of them could be a lot, whoa, a lot older. And um, not as bold. I'm getting that one of them keeps their feelings to themselves more than the other. Because they're a little less mature or they're a little less outgoing. I feel confused. So I feel like you guys are confused. <laughs> you guys are like, I don't know what to do. Just date them all. And if they don't like that, then they can bounce. They don't have to stay. Give us two more. What what is going on with my water signs? What's going on with water babies? I see you guys going on a date with at least one of them. Yeah, you guys are like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Nine of Swords. I'm scared I'm gonna pick the wrong one. I'm scared if I pick one at all, it's not gonna go well. You guys have anxiety, dark thoughts about making the wrong choice or which way to go when it comes to your love life. One of them might be pressuring you to, if they're pressuring you, be like, back off, just give me some space. Three of Pentacles, yeah. You guys definitely have third parties around. Some of you could have more than two options. I am getting quite a few options that are coming in. Some of you, there's one that's long distance. There's one I feel like that the connection is strong with, but there's things that come between the two of you that are like outside of your control. There could be delays with one of them. It feels like the vibe with one of these people is stronger. The, the draw toward them is stronger, but there's things that make that connection impossible or difficult to be with. I don't see really any changes in how you guys are feeling anytime soon either. It's like you continue to have these options that you're just not sure which one is going to be in your best interest. Anything else, Spirit? I feel like we're just like leaving this hanging, but it doesn't seem like there's any changes. Anything else? No? All right, well, you can book a private reading. Yeah, because there's nothing else coming out. You can book a private reading for your specific situation with me if you want to check on individual people and see who the best option is. But what I'm getting mostly is try not to worry. You're not going to pick incorrectly. What's meant for you will always be yours. So if you don't feel like you can choose right now or you don't feel like you're ready for something, then you don't have to do it. Spirit's not going to put you in a situation that you don't feel like is right and force you into it or before you're ready. Okay? Tap in and claim it, water sign. But 
expect to hear from all of these people. I see you guys having like multiple ding, ding, ding on your phone. Someone's calling. Someone's messaging. There's another message. Oh, look, it's somebody else. <laughs> you guys are popular water babies. Okay, fire signs. read your life. Nice. I love that. Aries Leo Sag. Hi babes. I'm glad you guys are all still here. Holy shit. So nice. Okay. Let's get some water. Take a little bathroom break if you need it. If I haven't told you guys for a while, make sure you wear AirPods when you listen to me because I'm not one of those friends that you can have on speakerphone. Therefore, I'm not one of those tarot readers that you can have on a loudspeaker. I say inappropriate shit. I'm sorry. So if you got littles in the room, put your AirPods in. Don't be sitting in the waiting room at the clinic with me on either, because I'll be like, oh my god, there's a dick. <laughs> you guys are going to be like, shh. So just beware. Just beware. I don't want to embarrass you. Aries, Leo, Sag. And cross watchers if you're dealing with a fire sign. Oh, what's this? the hell is this someone's being sneaky fire signs you feel like somebody's being deceptive sneaky toward you you don't trust them and I agree you shouldn't I'm getting the energy here of there's fuckery about <laughs> Aries Leo Sag okay let's be serious Whiskey. Hey, babe. Happy holidays, everybody. Okay, tell us what's going on with fire babies. Dealing with a cheater, dealing with somebody that's lying, sneaking. Get in here. I don't know who's always late to the fire sign reading, but y'all better get your butts in here. Be here. On time fire signs. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you. On time. I'm just gonna sit here and shuffle for my fire babies. This is always what happens. are like we're here we're here well clearly you're not all here because spirit's not letting me start clearly there we go give us one more thank you here okay so they finally just got in here whoever it was that came in it was you that was late Okay, so there's a breakup. There's some sort of union, a connection that is being, there's a split happening here. Deep hurt, sadness. Yeah, some of you guys got cheated on. Some of you guys were lied to and you're breaking up. I'm hearing, because breaking up is hard to do. Da, 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 da. Don't leave my heart in misery. Don't say that this is the end. So somebody doesn't want things to end. Don't take your love away from me. Somebody sabotages connection though. The hermit, Virgo energy. I just wanna be alone. 
if you guys were lied to or cheated on, I feel like you're ready to go inside your shell and retreat. Fight or flight is kicking in and you guys want to flight. You guys are like, goodbye, get me out of here. I'd rather be alone. I don't want to deal with this. Leave me alone type of energy. getting like a lonely feeling though too so when this person lied cheated it left you feeling abandoned for a lot of you like they abandoned you they abandoned the connection they gave up they stepped out a lot of you guys don't know what to do with your love life right now my collective is like, we don't know what to do, Amy. <laughs> Shit's just not working. We just want to be happy, but we don't know how to get to that place in our love life. My poor collective. You guys are confused. Why are things happening this way? Feeling lost. Feeling a lot of regret for decisions in the past. For ignoring red flags in the past. Some of you guys... Yeah, you're thinking, I could have saved myself a lot of grief if I wouldn't have ignored my intuition in the past. I knew they were lying, I knew they were cheating, or I knew this was going to happen. Some of you guys are kicking yourself. Don't beat yourself up too much. Don't shame yourself. Don't judge yourself so much. Like, yeah, you can take accountability and recognize the things that you did to contribute to the situation but don't beat yourself up about it some of you guys thought that you would be with this person forever and now you're like now what there's look there it is Jeez, seven of swords and the hair font this is marriage and this is somebody sneaking around lying cheating this doesn't have to be that you were married, but it, it's like a partnership. Somebody that was supposed to be faithful. This is a monogamous connection. Or you guys are supposed to be like working together and this person was working against you behind your back. Shady. Like Angela on 90 Day Fiance. She caught Michael doing all that shady shit. <laughs> Angela. Do you guys watch that? There's Taurus energy here. Taurus and Virgo. Michael's been on Instagram doing all that shady shit behind Angela's back. I feel like you guys are, yeah, you guys are both going to retreat from each other. Spending time alone, reflecting on what happened between the two of you. I see you guys both thinking about this a lot in the evening time, at night, or when you're alone. You're both reflecting on what happened between the two of you. This person's feeling lonely too. I feel like they regret what they did. They regret lying and sneaking. If they don't, they will. It looks like the, the connection's ending. There's a breakup here. Three of Wands. Waiting to make a decision. You or they are like waiting to decide what to do. Because there's anxiety about making the wrong choice. Eight of Pentacles. Spirit's saying, focus on yourself. Focus on your stability. Go within. Self-care is really important right now. Some of you guys are going to be like diving into work. Trying to distract yourself with work. I see a lot of anxiety about which, which way to go now. This keeps coming up for everybody in the collective today. 
Amy, which way do I go? You guys are going to know which way to go when it's time. Some of you guys, you know what you need to do, but it's not easy. So you're stalling. And it's like, just, just take that step. Take the first step. Take baby steps. Put one foot in front of the other, but stop staying stagnant. It's time to like make a move to get out of this situation. If you've been stalling when it comes to taking control of the situation, it's like it's time for you to step up and do something. Stop waiting for things to change or waiting for things to get better. It's like you got to grab the horse by the reins and take control of yourself. Some of you guys need to go like get your finances straight or get a second job or something so that you can get out of this situation. If you need more finances, there's, there's like you needing to put effort and stop stalling when it comes to making a decision about this. And I feel like for most of you, it's like get out of this situation. You're not stuck in this situation. You can free yourself. There's things that you can do. Some of you guys are doing it. You're doing it one step at a time, baby steps. Don't overwhelm yourself, but at least start making a move. It is snowing like crazy outside. Holy cow. I don't know if you guys can see. Look at that. It's snowing like crazy. Dumping. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Especially with my broken ankle. That's all I need. Step down there and psh, slide and fall on my booty. Uh-uh. I'm staying inside today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get this uploaded to YouTube so you guys can rewatch it. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you all on the next live. I'll probably be live tomorrow or the next day again. So, I'll be back soon. If you guys need a private reading or my bracelets are 20% off right now. So for the holidays, take advantage of that sale while you can if you guys want a bracelet. And all of that is on my Etsy shop at Sun Moon Pisces. The link is in my bio. Have a blessed rest of your day. Bye, guys.